addiction is a pathway in your brain. It's interesting to know how the pathway got there because that helps you know how you can build a new pathway to have another behavior. You've probably heard that addiction is a dopamine pathway. Dopamine is a brain chemical that all animals have. It's a brain chemical that makes you feel really good when you think you're getting close to a reward. That's what keeps animals running after food and things they need to meet their needs. Now you may wonder, well, addiction doesn't really meet my needs, so why would my brain turn on this dopamine pathway and give me this great feeling that I'm going to get something that meets a need when it doesn't? Well, the answer is simple. At some moment in time in your past, you did have the impression that dopamine met your need. Now, what need? In the animal world, first there's food and shelter, but then there's sex and social support. You've seen that animals stick in groups because it keeps them safe. And anything that helped you keep safe in your past, if you experience that in the context of a particular substance or behavior, then your brain released the dopamine and said, wow, this is good for me. This meets my needs. This is good. And that connected neurons. Now, we're born with billions of neurons, but very few connections between them. So anytime you connect neurons, the electricity in your brain whooshes easily down that pathway and effortlessly turns on the dopamine and says, this is going to be good for you. This is going to be good for you. Now, the result may be that it's not good for you, but the pathway is there. So the solution to addiction is always to build a new pathway. Now, how can you build a new pathway? Repetition and emotion. That's what builds pathways. Now, when you're young, when you're under 20, these pathways build almost effortlessly. It still takes some repetition, but when you're young, your brain releases a special substance that makes the pathways big. So any addiction you had before you were 20, it built into a big pathway. It's hard to build a new pathway that's big enough to compete, but you can do it with repetition and emotion. That means you have to repeat the new behavior a lot, more than you think you might need to, in order for a new pathway of a new chosen behavior to start feeling effortless and normal. Now, I said repetition and emotion. Emotion means if you can find a new behavior that you connect to a good feeling, but it's a new behavior that's healthy and sustainable, then that will be an easier pathway to build. Now, it's not that easy because it, the new behavior is not going to feel immediately as good in the short run as the addiction. But some other way of feeling good, you will find it, everyone finds it, and that's what builds the new connections between neurons and turns on your good feelings in new ways.